Happy Sabbath, Church. Happy day. My name is Michelle, and with me is Joy Nyabuti. The title of our sermon today is Science. It's all about the Ten Commandments. Hey, do you see this box over there? Yes, it's beautiful. I wonder what's inside. Wait, do not touch it. It says, do not open. I was not going to open it. I just wanted to feel it. I wonder what is in it. Let's just leave it like that. It's not good to ignore science, you know. Let's see how it goes. Now see what you have done. What will happen? They are all over. I, did, I wish I could have listened to you. I did not, I wish I could have listened to you. I, I, I wish I could have listened to you. It was just pretty and tempting. I, I did not know it will be, pre, I did not know it will be messy. It I, I feel so foolish. It happens when you ignore signs given to us. It reminds me of the signs of the road. Boys and girls, what is the meaning of this sign? And this one? And this one? And this one? I see you know the meaning. Uh, Joy, what happens when the driver ignores the road signs? Sometimes an accident may occur, leading to deaths or injuries of the driver and also to other people. The driver may be arrested and taken to court where he is told to pay a lot of money as fine or even taken to jail. At times, nobody will notice that he did something wrong, but the truth is that he will have done a wrong thing. Michelle, you look like you have something big to say. Go on. I'm thinking of other important signs in our lives. Have you ever heard about the Ten Commandments? Yes, I have. My parents and teachers in Sabbath school have taught me about them, but they've never taught me their signs. It is good to learn something new. Just like the sign written, do not touch on the box, do not touch on the box, and the road signs, the Ten Commandments help us to stay out of trouble. Jesus loves us very much, that he does not want us to be separated from him. When we sin, when we disobey the signs, we sin and sin separates us from God. Oh, I see. When you, don't, when you disobey the signs, it is called sin, and sin separates us from God. If, if, I, if, you, if, you, if, it's good. if it's good, unless it says, don't, I should not dare touch it. Wow. Please don't. It hurts Jesus and hurts you. I now want to to recite the signs that God out of his love gave us. I want the children in the congregation to read the signs with us. Parents and guardians, please don't forget that you are all children of God. Do not, do not worship any other gods. Do not use God's name in vain. Do not, do not worship do not worship any other gods. Do not use gods in vain. Do not worship idols. Remember this. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Honor your father and mother. You should not kill. You should not commit adultery. You should not take false witness against your neighbor. And you should not covet. You see all these signs, boys and girls? Do you sometimes find it so hard to obey, the, to obey the signs on the box like I do? If I disobeyed the, bo I disobeyed the signs on the box, after I disobeyed, I felt so guilty and correcting the mistake was very hard. I'll yet to collect all the balloons. 
It is true that all of us sometimes find ourselves disobeying the signs. I also do. But one thing that makes me happy, Jesus forgives and treats us like we have never disobeyed before. Let's open our Bible to the book of First John, chapter 1. To ch chapter 1, verse 9. I repeat, 1 John, chapter 1, verse 9. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. I, uh, I love the promise. Do you love it, boys and girls? Uh, Jesus loves us so much. He does not love us less than we follow the signs. It really hurts him, and it makes him sad. Yeah, yes, it does. Something else, Michelle, Jesus gives us the power to say no when the devil asks us to disobey the signs. All we need to do is ask for the power and forgiveness through praying and reading the Bible. In the book of Psalms 119, verse 10 to 11, it says... With all my heart, I try to obey you. God, don't let me disobey you. I have taken your words to heart so that I cannot disobey you. The Bible states that if we have the word of God in our hearts, we cannot sin against God. Amen. I've learned a lot today. And I pray that God forgives us and and let give us power to say no to sins and to say yes to signs. I hope you tell your friends about the, si the signs and the love of Jesus. By the way, this is still in our series, Be My Witness. Can you say our key verse with us? Acts chapter 4, verse 20, and it says, I cannot stop telling about everything I have seen and heard. Join us next Sabbath as we continue learning together. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us this gift of life. Thank you for letting us understand your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.